I'm Dale Smith for Lenny Politics, and we saw a really big bombshell in Saskatchewan this last week where the Speaker of the Legislature called out the government for their attempts to harass and intimidate him into ruling in their favor, uh, as well as um, some particularly explosive allegations around the government House leader bringing guns into the legislature and trying to um, get permission to carry a handgun on a more regular basis which is really unusual in Canadian politics. But something I think that this particular situation uh, highlights is one of the dangers of governments essentially being in power for too long. The Saskatchewan party has been in power for 20 years now. And in that time, it started to accumulate this particular sense of arrogance and entitlement um, and this notion that the rules of the legislature apparently shouldn't apply to them, which is one of those real kind of red flag warning signs that we as voters in this country should really be on the lookout for, because that's when things start getting really uh, problematic for governments. And we're seeing some elements of that within the Saskatchewan government right now. Um, for example, they invoked the notwithstanding clause um, on their bill around uh, pronoun use in schools for no apparent reason. Um, it had just gone to a court challenge and uh, the judge had ruled that he was um, interested in pursuing the matter further and having the uh, parties all make full um, representation so that he could make a more informed decision rather than just dismissing it outright. And immediately the government invoked the notwithstanding clause um, for no you know, real reason other than they didn't want to be challenged. That tends to be a sign of a problem. We're also seeing that the uh, Saskatchewan government is um, outright uh, challenging federal law and refusing to obey it when it comes to the carbon levy. Um, and coming up with particularly convoluted um, fig leaves in order to try and, um, you know, find legal loopholes around it, which we'll see if the CRA will actually buy in the long run. It doesn't look uh, good for them, but it's also a sign that, again, this is the kind of arrogance that they're accumulating. Now, they do have an election coming up this fall, and the party has become a little more paranoid about their right flank, because that's where they're seeing some particular leakage of their votes, um, around things like anti-vaxxers and so on. And so I think it's going to be really interesting to watch what that election is going to look like as they try and shore up that right flank um, at the expense of the center and whether or not any opposition party can kind of move into that space. But it also just is a reminder that 20 years in power is a long time for any government and um, that kind of complacency and arrogance uh, and sense of entitlement really isn't healthy in any kind of a democracy. For Looney Politics, I'm Dale Smith.